our next lecture on how to set up windows in your Oracle Virtual Box Manager. So we kind of went ahead and, and just pulled up the, the whole thing so you've kind of got it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go new, right? We're gonna go ahead and add a virtual machine. We're gonna do two different versions of Windows on this one. So we're gonna do Windows 2019 server with desktop. So there's two different versions of this, right? Um, as you kind of go through the process, you wanna make sure that um, that you choose the desktop experience. And there's a reason why I have the screen as big as I am, so you can see all this stuff over here. But again, uh, label what it is, where it's gonna go, Microsoft Windows, what kind of version it's gonna be. Um, I usually try to give Windows at least four gigs of RAM just because that will make it easier. Wanna go ahead and create a virtual disk for this and then dynamically allocate it, 50 gigs, and then boom. So this should do it. Now remember, when you go here, right, you need to go to settings and you want to first check your display you want to make sure you're on max 300 right 300 percent then you also want to make sure on your storage that on your disk you have chosen the virtual optional disk you want to go off and this is my downloaded from microsoft version of the thing so i now have my boot image and you need to have that and then go ahead and save all that off and then go ahead and click on start um, as you kind of go through it, again, keyboard capture, you'll see these little keyboard capture things come up a lot. And I'm going to move you over so you can see this a little bit better. Um, and again, we're going to do the GUI version of it. So that will work. So we're going to be uh, Windows Server 2019, the United States, wherever you want to be. Um, and we're going to go ahead and install now. And then we're going to get a bunch of options on what we can actually set up and use here for this. So this may take a minute, you know, again, it's Windows. So you have two different kinds here. You have one standard and you have one with a desktop experience. We're gonna choose the desktop experience to get started and we'll go over um, how to use the standard evaluation, the non-desktop experience version next because there's some neat things you can do with that that uh, really makes Windows a lot more fun in a lot of ways. So go ahead and accept all the things um, and then go ahead and do an install Windows only um, just go ahead and let it do its thing and then just go ahead and it will actually work fairly quickly it's a fairly nice streamlined um, installation process here and uh, this won't take forever but again um, when you're doing the GUI you're getting a lot of extra things to go along with it um, so this might just take a second or three um, let me sit here I mean I don't know how many times we've all sat here and watched Windows install it's been more than once <laughs> um, but that's what kind of makes it fun in terms of where we're going to go with this um, process. So watching Windows install. This is not the first time I think that any one of us has done this, but this is what makes it kind of fun. And especially doing it in a virtual box is what makes it more entertaining, right? Because you have to start balancing out all the little bits and pieces that go along with it. show you some stuff here so um, if this drags on too much we'll go ahead and we'll pause the video so you guys can actually we'll pick it up after we get the install but I do want you guys to see the full install if possible and again just go ahead and make sure that when you do this you set aside enough time to do this if you're working on it with a really truly minimal installation um, with two gigs or two two gigs this is going to take a while um, you can kind of hear my computer starting to get a little a little warm on that one all right, so getting ready files. All right, we're good there. Install, installing updates. Again, there shouldn't be that many, hopefully. Depends on how old your image is. I would always go down and download an update and fresh image for this thing so that you've got it. And then it do its thing. I guess there's some updates there that need to go. And then restart. And again, it will kind of bounce around a little bit as you kind of go through this whole process. Um, and kind of go from there. All right, let's go virtual box. And then don't worry about pressing any key. Just let it kind of do its own thing. And then again, guest OS, mouse pointer integration, virtual displays, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so as we kind of go through the process, we're waiting for it to load. Actually, as far as Windows Server installs go, this is actually pretty darn quick, right?
right? And that's a that's a welcome change, right? There's been some installs that have just taken for like half a day. So it's really kind of nice what you got here. And boom. So we'll reboot. And press any key. And again, I just let it usually do its thing because I don't want to have to reinstall over this. And then I will pop up. So again, you can get rid of these pop ups. They're not a big deal here. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now, this is your password. So you want to not forget this. So if you do this, write this password down. This is always going to be your administrator password. If you have a password policy that's for long, complex passwords, um, definitely do that. Um, but making sure that you have your administrator password is good to go. Okay, and we're done. We're installed, and this is it. So one of the things you want to make sure of when you get there is that you have this whole process here. You're going to click this little down arrow thing, and I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit so you can see this better. Um, so the little down arrow, this little blue box, you're going to get insert control alt delete to the host, right? And that will give you your ability to then go ahead and bring up your your um, path username and password. So the password you just entered, and that's all you got to do. And then wait, it will go through because of the first install, right? It sets up all your things. But don't ever forget about this little thing down here, right? To get your um, control alt delete, control break, or other things. Um, I'm not going to make this discoverable just because I don't need to. It's not a, a big thing. When you're starting up your Windows for the first time, it's going to give you a server manager so you can choose the role that you want it to do and you can keep this pop-up going. Um, so there's all things that you can do. And we'll go over um, all the processes that go along with this. This is really more about just installing this whole process. Um, so uh, we have a bunch of logs and events and other things that we've got going on. Remote desktop, you know, if you want to have remote management, right, we have it enabled no remote desktop so we can actually go ahead and enable that um, if you wanted to do that. Um, there's a bunch of other things. All the servers that are in the group, um, file and storage pools, all those other things. So if you're getting ready to take a Windows thing, uh, Windows exam, then this is really, really good. You've got some extra tools that you can do um, along the way for working on things. PowerShell, we're gonna spend some time in PowerShell as you kind of go through this because it's a good scripting language. Um, you can manage roles and features. And again, all these things that you would normally do uh, when you first get your server set up, but this is the basic install, um, and we'll come along from there um, as we go through this, as you learn more about managing it. But again, the big thing is getting this thing up and running, which we've done, fairly painless. Um, remember, it's the desktop experience version, and we'll go over um, the non-desktop experience version, the regular version, so that you can kind of check out what that looks like as well, because there's some neat concepts that go along with that um, process of not having a, uh, a server on that. So again, when you're done, you can just go ahead and, and either log out or just click off. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and power off the machine and let it go from there. But that's the whole video. That's the whole enterprise. It's really quick, really super easy. And then the next lecture will be on the non-desktop experience version. So definitely check that one out. Thanks much. I'll see you in the next lecture.